This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace recently launched the latest version of the platform, Squarespace 7, which has a completely redesigned interface, integrations with Getty Images and Google Apps, new templates, and an incredible feature called Cover Pages. Try the new Squarespace at squarespace.com and enter the offer code SOLDIER at checkout to get 10% off. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. CES 2015 is underway, and LG held their press conference where they talked about a wide range of products. But one of the products that I think a lot of people are really starting to focus on is the new LG G Flex 2. So last year, they introduced the LG G Flex, which is a curved smartphone, but it was a little too big for people with the screen coming in around six inches. And the curves really just didn't win over a lot of consumers. But LG is trying to fix that with the G Flex 2 because it shrunk down the display down to 5.5 inches which is going to be a lot easier to hold in your hand also they bumped up the resolution from 720p to 1080p on this oled display so it should look very nice and look a lot better than the last display on the previous generation now lg is also touting that this phone will be able to take some punishment now the display since it is curved if you are to drop it on the ground the entire display is not going to be in contact with the ground so it'll be less likely to break and also the self-healing on the back of the phone has been improved instead of having to wait minutes to see some of those scratches just go away now within just seconds you'll see the scratches really start to disappear right in front of your eyes so if you like me you like to carry your phone in your pocket with keys and stuff like that this will be very very helpful for you Internally, the G Flex 2 will have a 3000 milliamp battery that can reach 50% of its charge in just 40 minutes. It also will have two gigabytes of RAM come in 16 and 32 gigabyte storage configurations, but you'll still have that micro SD card slot to expand your storage. And then also I'll be having a 64 bit octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor. So it's going to be a very snappy processor moving along at two gigahertz. So it should be plenty of speed and power to do whatever you want with this phone. And then the rear facing camera on this G Flex 2 will be a 13 megapixel camera that will have optical image stabilization. And also the front facing camera, this selfie camera now is what people are calling it, uh, will have a gesture feature so you can actually hold the phone away from your face and do a gesture with your hand and it will go ahead and trigger it to take a picture instead of trying to find a button and do something like that, which can be very cumbersome. Now when it comes to software, this phone will be running Android Lollipop, but LG will be putting their own skin on top of that and adding some different software features like the upgraded knock feature where at the home screen you can actually knock on it to wake it up you can have some other different options now and also they have this feature where you can wave your hand over the front of the phone you can see some of the notifications that you choose to show up on that screen so it's very similar to what some of the other Motorola phones already have but it's nice to see them incorporating some new features along with all those other new features that are going to be an Android Lollipop on this LG G Flex 2. So before I wrap up this video, it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video, and that is Squarespace. Now, Squarespace has introduced their new platform, Squarespace 7. It really expands on all the great things from Squarespace 6, but one of the abilities that it does add is live editing, so you can actually see all the changes that you make while editing your web page in real time. And so with new cover pages, templates, integration with Google Apps, and also a new partnership with Getty Images, you have a lot of tools at your fingertips to make a great looking website. And it starts at just $8 a month. And if you sign up for the entire year, you get a free domain name. You can go ahead and try out Squarespace with no credit card needed by going to squarespace.com. And if you do decide to go ahead and sign up, make sure you use the offer code SOLDIER at checkout and you'll get 10% off of your first purchase and you'll help support this show. But now I'm just going to get back to my final thoughts about this LG G Flex 2. Now the G Flex 2 looks to be improving on all those things that kind of needed to be tweaked with the original G Flex. The size needed to be brought down and even the self-healing didn't really need to be tweaked, but they made it better. So that's actually a great thing. And the camera is going to be improved and all also to the software and little different features that they're adding on top of Android Lollipop is a great thing. So we don't know exactly when this phone is going to be released, but I would say within the next couple of months, it will probably be a safe bet. And also it will be priced above the LG G3 because it is kind of a specialty phone. I think a lot of people are starting to gain interest in curved smartphones, especially if they're able to get their hands on it and feel how it does feel a little bit better than holding just a regular flat phone in your hand and kind of curves to your hand. I think LG may be on to something this year and will be able to have more of a success with this new G Flex 2 than they had with the first one. So leave your comment down below what you think about this new phone. Of course, I have more coverage and news of what is announced at CES 2015. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.